okay so create an index.html with the style.css file and an index.html give the boilerplate of html and the title give title as gsap animation text animation rather okay and now link your style.css file as well with it and in style.css just give these stylings and you should never forget to add the stylings uh, in this project we are not going to use this pseudo element but still if in some case you are going to use these pseudo elements in your project in future then you must add these basic stylings okay now after doing so in body i'll write i'll give an h1 tag in which i'll have my text and i'll also give an id to it and the id can be anything of your wish for now i'm giving it text to make it easy simple sorry okay so now i'll open it with live server here we go now i also want to add some stylings to body i'll give height 100 vh width 100 percent display flex justify content center align item center and i guess you all know what i'm doing here that's why i'm not explaining i'm assuming that you all know these fundamental things but if you don't know then you can comment down below i can reply it or if possible i'll also create a video on it okay so i also want to add a background of black and to text i'll give color white font size 7 rem like this and i also want to change the font family of it and i'll choose the font family from google fonts and the font family that i'm choosing is babus new i guess this is how we call it okay so i'll paste the import tag at the uh, import tag at the very top and in here i'll say font family babus new if this is how you pronounce it now we have got this styling now is the main part we have to animate it but the animation should be letter by letter we don't want the whole world to a whole word to animate at once we want the first letter to animate first then the second then the third followed by fourth and so on so for that we'll have to first split the word into letters and for that we have a module called split type so search split type in google and in here you have to go to this github repository and scroll down at the bottom and here you will see a cdn section copy the script cdn go to your index.html paste this file here and now create a main.js file at this point and link this main.js file script src main.js like this main.js write const text equal new split type this is what you have to write this is how they say to write and you have to write it in the very same way so you have to give a variable and inside that variable variable you'll have a new instant instance of the split type and if you don't know object oriented then just you have to write the new keyword and the split type keyword inside this you'll have your target what is your target what do you have to separate so we have to separate this hashtag text okay so i have wrote I've written this uh, hashtag text in it and if it is correct without error then we, sh we would have achieved that and here we go look we have split uh, we have splitted successfully each and every letter and each and every letter is inside uh, in its own div okay so now now we have separated the word into letters now we want to animate all the letters and for animation we'll have to select this gsap so you wanna have this gsap cdn link so copy the script tag and don't worry about the links the links would be in the description down below so if you don't get then you can have those links in the description now you've got you've got all these script tags now what's next uh, okay so after getting the cdn just now you have to use gsap and to use gsap go to your main.js file and write uh, gsap for uh, if you want to use gsap you have to write gsap and then a dot after dot there are two things either to or from you can write any of those so if you write from then it says from where your animation should go it's your initial point of your animation and the final point would be the original value 
if you do not get those then uh, you'll get it you'll get it just stay tuned uh, stay tuned sorry what the hell i'm speaking stay tuned <laughs> okay now uh you have to select your target are uh, these letters now not the whole world no, sorry not the whole word just the letters each and every letter and that letter is an a dev with a class of c h a r cat each and every letter is in the dev with a class of cat so you can select that by writing dot c h a r now after this you have to give a comma and then create an object inside that object you will have your properties and those properties are the initial values of your animations like for example you can write oy and then give 100 pixels or maybe just 100 this is for your initial value that y should be 100 this means okay to make you understand better i'll show you reload this is what you have got we have given y as 100 so y has got 100 in the uh, in the first place but it has to complete its animation and the last value the final value is the original value that is y equals 0 so it will start from y equals 100 then it will go to y that is 0 okay if you if you do to y negative 100 then it will start from y negative 100 to y 0 so this this is how we create that animation but now the whole word is animating at once we want the first letter to anim- animate first followed by the second followed by the third and so on so for that for each and every letter to animate after the after the previous letter you have to write stagger this stagger will do the job and the stagger after how many after how much delay so i'll write 0.2 this is the seconds so after 0.2 seconds of animating of every letter it is animating but i don't like 0.2 i'll write 0.05 like this great and you can also add duration if you wish to duration maybe 0.2 so that's very quick i kind of like 0.5 it's a bit slow and it's settle good now what next we the animation is perfect but we don't want to see this text animation when it is down we only want to see the final uh You, you know uh, you'll know we'll get to know what i'm what i want to say so just search clippy css or go in the description find this link of bennett freely bennett philly whatever okay so select any shape of four vertices make it a square and then copy the code paste it in your css in this hashtag text okay now this is what i wanted to say Now the bottom part is cut but not completely a part of it is still visible so to cut that line height will come into action line height maybe 6 rem okay so 6 rem is perfect now we can't see the bottom part and the animation is complete but if you want to make it further interesting you can add a rotate as well so each and every uh, letter would would be rotated 25 degrees initially but finally it would rotate 0 degrees like so okay now it is also good but uh, what i like to do next is go to gsap website the link of which i have linked in linked in the description go to docs then select a bit uh, uh, some uh, one of these eases now what is ease ease is the way how you want your animation to look like Okay so if it is none it is linear it will go very you know you can see the graph if you have power 2 then it will be fast initially but then it will be slow power 3 faster even faster in uh, in starting but it will be very slow at the end so this is how these are these are the various types of animations and eases but what i like is this back ease so after selecting uh, your favorite ease just copy this ease one not the whole just the ease okay and then now paste it here and here we go so i like this and i'm very very satisfied with this and with that said we have completed our today's project if you like the video hit that like button down below make sure you are subscribed to our channel and press that bell icon to get the instant notification 
of our latest videos thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next one